everyone this is Jay Kalpana here so in this video we are going to solve a legendary equation so let's get going problem solve 1 plus x whole square into d square plus 1 plus x into d plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos log of 1 plus x so here the given differential equation is of the form ax plus b power n into d power n plus p1 into ax plus b power n minus 1 into d power n minus 1 plus so on plus p n into y equal to some function of x a u right so we call this equation since this equation is of this form so we call this equation as legendus equation okay this equation is called legendus equation so we are given a legendus equation now we'll reduce this legendus equation to linear differential equation with constant coefficients by making some substitution okay let's see given differential equation is 1 plus x whole square d square plus 1 plus x into d plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos log of 1 plus x consider the given differential equation as equation number 1 legendus equation from legendus equation the procedure we know that ax plus b is replaced by e power z then z is equal to log of ax plus b and theta is nothing but d by dz okay and ax plus b into d can be replaced by here the power of ax plus b is 1 and power of d is 1 so we can replace this by a into theta okay we have ax plus b whole square into d square then this can be replaced by a square since the power is 2 so we'll replace it by a square into since it is 2 so you'll get theta into theta minus 1 if you have cube that is ax plus b whole cube into d cube then it can be replaced by a cube into theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 right and so on now coming to our problem let 1 plus x equal to e power z let 1 plus x equal to e power z okay then z equal to log of 1 plus x from this formula and here theta is nothing but d by dz now 1 plus x into d can be replaced by okay the coefficient of d is 1 so 1 into theta which is theta and 1 plus x whole square into d square can be replaced by coefficient of x is 1 1 square is 1 so you'll get 1 into theta into theta minus 1 right now this equation 1 becomes replace 1 plus x whole square into d square by theta of theta minus 1 plus replace 1 plus x into theta by sorry 1 plus x into d by theta you'll get plus theta plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos log of 1 plus x can be replaced by z so you'll get 4 cos z this becomes theta into theta theta square minus theta plus theta plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos z right here minus theta plus theta gets cancelled and this gives us theta square plus 1 into y equal to 4 cos theta which is in operator form consider it as equation 2 which is in operator form say f of theta into y equal to some function of z or the RHS part say r okay so here f of theta is theta plus 1 where f of theta equal to theta square plus 1 right now 
will find the solution to this reduced equation. So, we have reduced the given differential equation that is legend as equation to a differential equation in constant equations. Right? Now, we will find the solution to this equation. The general solution to this equation is given by y equal to yc plus yp. We will get yc using auxiliary equation and We'll find yc using auxiliary equation and we'll find yp using 1 by f of theta into r rhs part okay fine now coming to auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of theta, theta square plus 1, right? Let's replace this theta by m, then we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 1. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equal to 0. Now we need to find roots to this equation. Let's take this 1 to RHS, we'll get m square equals to minus 1, then m equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1, since square root of minus 1 is i. So, this becomes plus or minus i. Therefore, m equal to plus or minus i. The roots are complex conjugate, right? When the roots are complex conjugate or when we have m equal to a plus or minus ib, yc looks like e power az for variable z, okay? Because here we are talking about equation 2 where we are having theta and z theta is nothing but d by dz. So, here z is a variable, right? So, we will take z here. e power z into c1 cos bz plus another constant. Here c1 and c2 are constants plus c2 into sin bz. In case of a0, we will get e power 0 into z which is e power 0 into the terms under brackets remains the same. Since e power 0 is 1, so this becomes 1 into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz, right? It gives us c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz. Okay. Now coming to our problem. So here we got complex conjugate roots then our complementary function will be y c equal to c1 for b equal to 1 just compare plus or minus i with plus or minus ib then for b equal to 1 we'll have c1 cos 1 into z plus c2 sine 1 into z which gives us y c equals to c1 cos z plus c2 sine z right so here we got yc. Therefore, yc equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z. Let's now find yp. yc or particular integral is given by One by f of theta into the RHS part of equation two. Okay, here R is four cos theta. Sorry, it's z four cos z. F of theta is theta square plus one, and R is four cos z. We can write this as four into one by theta square plus one into cos z. This is of 1 by f of theta into cos bz form, right? This is of 1 by f of theta into cos bz type, right? Here we are having f of theta equal to theta square plus 1, right? Since it is of 1 by f of theta into cos bz form, we will replace theta squared by minus b squared or 
minus of b square minus b square is nothing but minus of b square okay then for b equal to 1 you'll have minus of 1 square which is minus 1 right if we replace this theta square if we replace this theta square by 1 then you'll get minus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 0 right if we substitute or if we replace theta square by minus 1 in the denominator the denominator becomes 0 and the total expression becomes undefined so what we'll do is we'll just write 1z one variable into 1 by find the derivative of f of theta f dash of theta which is 2 theta right which is non-zero since f dash of theta is non-zero so we'll just substitute f dash of theta in the denominator you'll get 2 theta into cos z okay here we have to write since yeah it's enough you can just write since f dash of theta is non-zero is equals to 4 by 2 into z into 1 by theta cos z see here you are having 1 by theta which is nothing but integral operator right so we'll find integral of cos z with respect to z here you'll get z integral cos z dz right this gives us 2z into integral cos z dz is sin z therefore yp equal to 2 sin z sorry 2z sin z therefore yp equal to 2z sin z we got yp and yc so now we can find the general solution to equation 2 which is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Therefore, the general solution to equation 2 is given by y equal to yc plus yp. We have y c c1 cos z plus c2 sin z and yp is 2z sin z right therefore y equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z plus 2z sin z is the required solution to the equation 2 that is the reduced equation but we need to find the general solution to the equation 1 right so what we'll do is we'll just replace this z by log of 1 plus x since z equal to log of 1 plus x. Okay. So this is solution to general solution to equation 2. Now we are finding the general solution to the given equation by substituting or by replacing z by log of 1 plus x will get the general solution to the given differential equation y equal to c1 cos of or cos log of 1 plus x plus c2 sine log of 1 plus x plus 2 just replace z by log 1 plus x sine log of 1 plus x therefore the general solution of the given differential equation or the given equation is 
y equal to c1 cos log of 1 plus x plus c2 sin log of 1 plus x plus 2 log 1 plus x sin log of 1 plus x. This completes the problem. See, the general solution to equation 2 is in terms of z and the general solution to the given equation is in terms of x. Okay? Fine. Well, we have seen a problem from Legendre's equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.